In today's video, I'm going to be answering some frequently asked questions about the DJI Mavic 4 Pro and the DJI RC Pro 2 controller. Are you ready? Let's jump into it. The first question that I always get asked is, can I get my own 240 watt brick charger and plug it into the battery adapter to make my own fast charging? And the answer to that is very simple, no. And the reason why is because this 240 watt brick charger that only comes with the creator combo, if you look at it, it has a very special plug. And that very special plug, proprietary I should say, fits in the cradle at the side. So if you have the cradle because you bought the Fly More combo and you've been looking at this plug wondering what is it for, it's for the 240 watt brick to plug in there. And if you don't have that 240 watt brick, then your only other option is USB-C input, which is on the other side. So unless you can make this proprietary plug, then the answer is no. Another question that I frequently get asked is, can the goggles work with the DJI Mavic 4 Pro? And right now I have the latest goggles from DJI and the answer to that is no, at least not at this time. There just is no menu option to select the Mavic 4 Pro and as a result, you just can't pair it up with the goggles and fly with it. However, you can pair up the goggles with the Mini 4 Pro and fly it if you want. This next question is very, very controversial and sticky. Is this Mavic 4 Pro available in the United States of America? And the answer to that is no. Yes, I do live in the US. Yes, I do have a Mavic 4 Pro. And no, I it was not sent to me by DJI. I purchased it. And that's because the DJI store is right next to me in Manhattan and they had a few in stock and I was able to get it. So there's a lot of politics going on right now and that's probably the main reason that Customs is not allowing DJI drones to be delivered. As a matter of fact, if you do a Google, Google search and go to even buy the Air 3S, you'll see that even that price went up and even the availability for that drone is pretty scarce because DJI doesn't have it on their website available. They're all sold out. I think Adorama has a few and they inflated the price and then eBay has them listed at the original price. But there's a little footnote on eBay that says that you might have to pay other taxes and fees, aka tariffs. It depends on where you're importing the drone to. So it's even controversial when it comes to the Air 3S. So officially is this drone available in the United States of America? The answer is no. Another question that I get asked a lot is if I don't buy the creator combo, is there another way to get the 512 gigabytes of storage and the all I video codec that comes in the creator combo Mavic 4 Pro? And the answer to that is just no. If you do not buy the creator combo, you cannot get the all I codec and you cannot get the 512 gigabytes of internal storage. You will get up to 64 gigabytes of storage on the drone, but you won't get the 512. And you might be saying, well, why are they holding back to 512? The 512 is specifically for the all I codec. The all I codec just takes up a lot of space. That's why the bit rate is so high, 12 or 1300 megabits per second, somewhere around there. It records every single frame, essentially just taking up massive amounts of space. And that's why you need the 512 gigabytes of storage that will be available only on the creator combo. Are there any ND filters that ship with the creator combo? And as of right now, it doesn't matter which kit you buy, if it's the basic Mavic 4 Pro or the creator combo, none of them ship with ND filters. It would have been nice if DJI could have at least shipped with standard filters that go on and off like like all the other drones until the electronic NDs were finished. They should have done that. I felt like that would have been the right thing to do. Can you get the infinity roll effect on a drone other than this Mavic 4 Pro, which has the infinity gimbal, which goes 40 degrees to 400 degrees rotation. And the answer to that is yes. By the way, if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a card up here that you can go check out how to do the infinity roll on the DJI Mavic 4 Pro and the pros and cons that come with that. But yes, you can get that in any other drone or any other camera for that fact. The only difference is you'll have to do a little bit of cropping as you start rolling 
to keep the picture fully in the frame. Does the Mavic 4 Pro have flight restrictions? Will it block you from taking off and landing in certain areas? And the answer to that is no. Earlier this year, 2025, DJI removed all the restrictions on all their drones. There is no flight restrictions at all. You can literally take off and land wherever you want. The responsibility of a safe flight depends on the pilot. Even though the DJI Mavic 4 Pro has been rated for 51 minutes of flight time, me personally, I get anywhere between 39 to 37 minutes of flight time. And that's between six to eight minutes more than I used to get with the Mavic 3 Pro because I used to get anywhere from 28 or 27 to 30 minutes max of flight time. So I'm getting about seven or eight or nine minutes more, which is huge to be up in the air, seven to eight to nine minutes more. But still on a real perfect day, I'll get 40 minutes, but nowhere close to the 51 minutes that it's rated for. And, and that's because I fly very aggressively. I'm always filming in 6K or I'm always uh, zooping around in sports mode, or I'm always doing one of these flight features like waypoints hyperlapse or using some feature that's heavy or intensive on the drone. I'm never just cruising around and flying around without a purpose. So I'm sure if you're more of a casual flyer, you get a little bit more time, maybe a minute or two or three more. But if you are working this drone, expect to get anywhere between 37 to 40 minutes of real world flight time. Another big question that I get asked a lot is how good is this 6X camera on the new Mavic 4 Pro compared especially to the Mavic 3 Pro? Well, you tell me because this entire video is being filmed on the DJI Mavic 4 Pro 6X camera. So you tell me what the quality looks like. I am also screen recording. So here you'll see, I'll stop recording for a second. I will take off the tracking and I will back out. Here you go. That's, that's the one X. That's the 2.5. And that's the six X camera. So what do you think guys? What do you think of the video quality? Another big question I get asked is, can you hook up the DJI mic to the Mavic 4 Pro? And the answer to that is yes, I'm actually wearing the DJI mic. Although I'm not using a Bluetooth connection, I actually have the receiver for this DJI mic mini and it's plugged right into the controller. Let me show you. The receiver for the DJI mic mini is plugged into the USB slot on the RC Pro 2 controller. And that's what I'm using to record this entire video. And that's why I can film an entire video per se without having the prop noise in the video because the drone is far away and I have a microphone that is attached to my jacket and transmitting directly to the receiver which is plugged into the RC2 Pro controller. So how good is the audio? I don't know. If you've been listening to this whole video then I would assume the audio is pretty good because otherwise you would not have made it this far. Now the other question I get asked a lot is which is the sharpest point on the aperture. I don't know. I actually haven't tested it, but I will say when you go to the main camera and you go to, to select the aperture, as you can see next to the 2.8, there's a little star there and that star right above it says optimal aperture selected. And that means that is the optimal aperture for this drone. So can you go to F2? Absolutely. The drone goes to F2, but I would not use F2 unless I'm flying at night because that's when you need the most light into the camera. That star next to F2.8 tells you the DJI recommends that as your optimal aperture, and that's probably the sharpest point of this camera. If there's anything that you think I left out that people would want to know, or do you think people should know, about this DJI Mavic 4 Pro, be sure and leave it in the comments section below. If this video was helpful and brought you any type of value, please leave a comment in the comment section below so that way I know. Be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. Make sure you like and subscribe and head over to www.dronexfactor.com for lots for your drone footage to make it pop. And think about becoming a patron. It's only $1 a month. That's $12 a year. That's a great way to get direct access to me and support this channel. If you want to know more about the Infinity Gimbal on the Mavic 4 Pro, check out this video. And if you want to know more about the RC 
Pro 2 controller, check out this video as well. With that being said, that's all I got for you guys. I will catch you well in the next one. Learning flights with Xavier Spence.